Tragedy turned it in, into triumph. In 2018, the mother of a High Point boy died tragically, trying, trying to help someone else. Now, people from the High Point community, the triad, and all over the world have come together in support of her only son. It brings me joy and happiness. And I, um, being more grateful than I, than I used to be. Ronald White is just 12 years old. In 2018, his mother, Brittany White, lost her life trying to help someone else whose car had broken down on the side of the road. It was one particular um, Tuesday or so, I was contacted by his grandfather to ask me, had I heard? I said, had I heard what? He said, Ronald's mother passed. I said, Ronald who? Shauna Green has been Ronald's barber for most of his life. So when she got the call about his mother, she knew she had to do something. Ronald came to the shop and um, I gave him a free haircut for the funeral. I even showed up at the funeral to show support. And I'll never forget when Ronald saw me. Ronald had the biggest smile on his face and ran up and gave me the biggest hug uh, during the funeral. And from that day forward, yeah. Shauna yeah. and Ronald Just have been inseparable. Coming and shortly after, uh, Ronald asked me if he could start working in a barbershop because he wanted to help his grandparents uh, pay bills at the house. I feel good when I when I'm at the barbershop. Ronald now works most weekends at Anointed Cuts in High Point as a sweeper, and he's the most popular person in the room. Has been working for me, I think, since maybe uh, September of last year, and he does a phenomenal job. Ronald gets more tips than the barbers. The and more time they spend the together, the closer the two got. Ronald talks to me a lot when he's cleaning. It's just things off the top of his head and things of that nature. And one day he mentioned to me, he said, you know what, Miss Shauna? I'm going to save enough money and I'm going to get me a dirt bike and I'm going to ride my dirt bike. So Shauna and Ronald's village of support made it happen. So, you know, I just took a picture and I talked about him cleaning a barbershop and somebody made the comment and said, how about we help him get a dirt bike? Before Shauna knew it, her Facebook page was flooded with people who wanted to help. They was like, what's your cash app? I put my cash app down. And I think I woke up to about $1,800 from people from all over the world. That was more than enough money for the dirt bike, plus more. Um, it makes me feel great. It lets me know that I'm loved anywhere. And so for his birthday this March, Ronald's Village stepped up once again. His birthday. Uh, I let the community know and people was inboxing me. Hey, Ronald's birthday is coming up. We said March. What are we going to do? I'm like, wow. Here's my cash out. And I mean, between that, they sent $3,200 for his birthday. With that money, Ronald had a better birthday than he could have ever imagined. And he still has money left over. So guess what? That money will go towards Christmas for this year. So Ronald, is a, he's a blessed little kid. But Ronald has a special message for anyone that has lost someone close to them. Um, don't think about it. Get something else on your mind. But just remember... Um, your loved one that passed away because I don't think about when my mom died but I still think about happy thoughts and Ronald is just such a joy to talk to he's so mature and smart I can't imagine the pain that he's been through in his life and I can only wish I could be as strong he, as he is when I do feel that type of pain wow. that's I love that kids Especially kids, when they go through something like that, they handle it so differently than adults do. And we, I, I honestly think that we as adults can learn so many lessons from a kid. You remember there was an old book that said everything I need to know about life I learned in kindergarten? Mm -hmm. That's exact, so true. They're so true. And he's a perfect example that you take the happy thoughts, you keep those close to you, and you use that to empower yourself. Yeah, I think this story is a great example of how it takes a community to raise a child. It takes a village. You kept saying the village, the village, and I love how they just really stepped up and were there for him when he went through this tragic situation with his mother. Beautiful story. It's such a grassroots, homegrown, compassionate act to donate on Facebook just because of one post that she shared. And my favorite part is that the broom is as tall as he is mm. <laughs> in those pictures. It's adorable and he's working so hard and I'm just so happy to see this community rallying around him. It's a nice job on that story, Jalen. I appreciate you. And I just thank Ronald for giving me his time. I also appreciate Ms. Shauna for organizing that and just doing everything she can to make sure Ronald has everything he needs 
and it's just wonderful to see our community once again rallying together behind someone that needs help and doing what needs to be done. Great story.